I miss my home, the place that I know, America, where all my family members are, all my friends. It's, it's just my entire life. had to sit and wait to see what my stepmother could do to find him. And when we saw him in um, Jersey, it was just sad to see my dad in green. I did not know like the specifics of what he went to jail for, but when I heard it was something from 89, I'm like, why is this following him now? I met Richard in 1985, we both worked at North Shore Hospital. You know, we bumped into each other here and there, and then one winter, I saw her outside of her car, and it, like she had left her lights on and the battery died. So I, you know, drove around past her and then pulled back up and asked her what was wrong. We were friends for quite a while until we both had separated from our spouses. We got married three years ago in Jamaica, after he was deported. Richard came here when he was six, and he went to live with his grandmother. He started working when he was 14, 15 years old. He always had his own money. He always was able to take care of himself, take care of his children. And he got his job at North Shore Hospital, where he worked for almost 30 years. It's history with that hospital. We have aunts, uncles, cousins there. My grandmother, our grandmother, did 52 years there. He worked in a lot of different positions there. Landscaping, plumbing, yeah, snow, duty. snow duty. I think he stayed at work like two days yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more like Just fall. to make money mm -hmm. for the family. Might I add, I'm very proud of them because I'm proud of all three of them, but these two right here, the youngest, college graduates, you make sure that homework yeah, got done. You make sure that homework Play no done. games with the homework. Get no nah. video games, no, no nothing. TV, nothing. <laughs> He's just a great guy. And it's so much to say, you know, my mind is just, it's hard. It's just not fair to exile this person and you have all these people, other people suffering because of that exile. It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Three of Richard's children, their mother is terminally ill and they are going through a really tough time right now. One of his children has sickle cell. He's in and out of the hospital. I mean, I know I'm barely h hanging on by a thread. You know, I have to send I send him money so he can so he can eat. Always has something to inspire people over. We have faith that he'll be back. What would it mean to return home? My family's priority. It would be like the second coming of Christ. <laughs> All right? I would I'd be one of the happiest person in the world. In going to Jamaica over and over again, I feel that. I've learned more about that culture, and I believe that, just like Bob says, every little thing is gonna be all right. That's my ringtone on my phone. <laughs>